do is I want to show you guys how to uh, solve a, um, a work problem uh, when using one variable. So the first thing, uh, there's a couple steps that I want to go through as, so, as far as solving a word problem. The first thing I think is the most important is to read the whole problem all the way through. So without working on anything, let's just try to read through the whole problem. It says a box of fruit has four more apples than oranges. Together, there are 52 pieces of fruit. How many of each type of fruit are there? Um, so the next thing I want to look at is, so I've read through the whole problem. The next thing I want to do is determine what, what is the question asking me. And they're saying how many of each fruit. So I need to know how many oranges there are and how many apples. So I'm just going to kind of write um, oranges. We need to figure some out. And apples. So we have oranges and apples. Uh, we need to figure out what, the, the, what those values are. Now, it's usually when we're talking about variables, we can assign an X and a Y or a, you know, an O and an A um, to represent how many they have. Um, however, we're really trying to practice, and it shows in the definition that we're only working on when we're dealing with one variable. So we need to pick a variable and determine which one is, is our variable going to represent, either oranges or apples. Um, so when I read back through the problem, it says together there are, I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, first problem, it says a box of fruit has four more apples than oranges. So what that's telling me is if I know how many oranges I have, I can figure out how many apples because there's four more apples. So if I had five oranges, I would have nine apples because five plus four is nine. If I had 20 oranges, I would have 25 apples or 24 apples. So really what I need to do is if I can figure out how many oranges there are, I'll, I'll be able to figure out how many apples there are. So I'm going to want to make x, which I'll use my variable, x is the number of oranges. So if I say oranges is equal to x, then apples is going to be x plus 4. Now the problem says together, which is going to tell me I'm going to add. A lot of times when I don't know what I'm doing, I'll underline 4 more, tells me plus 4. Together is going to tell me to add. So I'll say x plus x plus 4 and equals 52. I combine my like terms, my x and my x, it gives me 2x plus 4 equals 52. Subtract the 4 on both sides, and I get 2x is equal to 48. All right, and then I'm going to divide by 2. x is equal to uh, 24. Now, that is not my answer. The answer did not ask for what is x, all right? So you have to read the problem and determine what are they asking. They say how much, how many of each fruit are there? So you can say there are 24 oranges and 28, 24 plus 4, apples. And that is how you solve a word problem.